Well, that now former Alabama Department of Corrections employee walking away from his job didn't have another one lined up. He says he had to do that because he could not handle watching inmates and correctional officers being mistreated any longer. Stacy George has run for Alabama governor, authored a book, and up until last week was a respected 13-year veteran of the Corrections Department. He says our reporting through sources on the inside is just the tip of the iceberg and things are continuing to get worse to the point he walked away without another job offer even and is speaking out because he truly believes officers' lives are on the line and drastic measures are needed. George says routine critical short staffing means he was usually alone, left to guard more than 100 inmates without backup. I think the officer's in there and... Uh, yeah, I think the support staff, I even think of the inmates in there, right? And I think of the times I've saw, you know, people in front of me, I'm by myself. And I see a man say, I'm going to commit suicide. And I've saw him take a razor blade, start cutting their wrist, and I can't get to them. And, uh, and they're bleeding. And then you call somebody and you go, what, what do I do? You know, I said, it looks like he's committing suicide. And they say, well, you know, I wish we had help. And we send it. Can't get him out by myself. Uh, so then I have to be a, a medical professional that I'm not. Right? They force you to do that. George says he's taking his story to Montgomery this week, planning a rally at the state capitol to share his insight, not as a disgruntled former employee or for some political reason, he says it's because people don't realize just how bad things are and the danger we all face. And George is taking his story on the road headed to the state capitol on Friday to hopefully address lawmakers and uh, family members of inmates directly about some of the things he witnessed and experienced here at Limestone Correctional Facility. Reporting in Harvest, Matt Kroeschel, Way 31 News.